Hey, aloha everybody, Walfredo here. And on behalf of Variety, I'm here to share a very simple art project with you. A little background about myself. Um, I was born in the Philippines, raised in California, and I've been living in Hawaii for the last 27 years. Hawaii is home to many beautiful things from uh, sunsets, rainbows, waterfalls, and most especially for me, uh, the lava where it meets the ocean. Lava is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And here is an example of one of my artworks. I am a professional artist, so I do studies of waves meeting uh, lava and hitting in the water. And so in today's demonstration, I wanna show you how to have some fun using the heart shape that variety has as its logo and to create a very simple and fun art project. So let's get started. You should have received a set of uh, paints and brushes as you see here and those are the paints and the paper that we're using can be used uh, any any type of copier paper but if you have a heavier weight paper that would probably be best as we're using water in media so maybe a little uh, plastic container that you're not going to eat from but it holds and washes our brushes a few paper towels uh, a black marker um, some scissors and I'll show you later what we do with those because we're going to uh, draw little hearts and cut them out and use them as a stamp okay uh, so today we're gonna do something in the same field as this, this is done with professional paints and colors. So we're going to use uh, the set that we have here and to the best of our abilities have some fun with it. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flat brush and I'm going to dip it in a little bit of water and I'm going to just basically cake on some of the yellow. Since this isn't professional strength, and this is just more very safe on paints, you'll have to use a little bit more paint than you do with water. And I'm basically going to draw an outline, and it's going to be scattered, because if you've ever seen lava, uh, it has very different characteristics. It has the ability to, to come out and look very rope-like. I remember walking on the lava field and the sound it made was almost like you were stepping on glass and it also felt like the scenery was something out of this world. I felt like I was on the moon and I walked for miles and miles and miles and by the time I finally got to see the lava coming into the ocean it was really spectacular and breathtaking. So. It has in turn inspired a lot of what I do. Now, here's the gist of this um, exercise. We have one beautiful lava shape. Um, and I don't know if you can see that very well, but we have one beautiful lava shape there. And it's not one continuous line, but it's a bunch of broken lines. So, let's see if we can darken that just a bit here. All right, there. Oh, there. Perfect. Okay, so now I've done yellow and then I'm breaking it up and not necessarily filling the page, but just having one big heart there. And it's almost like you use small little strokes to create that heart. Now, I'm going to go right into my next color, which is orange. And I dip it in a little bit of water using the flat brush, mix it around so I've got a good amount on it there. Now what I'm going to do is just continue that same jagged and kind of broken outline. But instead of going over the previous color of yellow, I'm going to surround it and almost trap it. So now you can, the, the yellow should be able to to kind of stand out just a little bit more. And as you see right here, I am not covering that yellow color, but I am going around both sides. 
Now, as I do this, I am going to get more and more uh, outside of that original yellow color so I can get my lines to really pop out. Now, this reminds me a little bit of tiger stripes because, as you know, tigers have these beautiful but very, very random type of stripes. Well, lava has that same way of being able to, to kind of mimic the energy from the heart. The heart is a symbol of many things. It's a symbol of romance. It's a symbol of love. It's a symbol of strength and family and unity. So I am happy to share what I do and incorporate the logo variety with it. All right, so now we are into the orange, the second step. And if you've ever studied fire and you've ever looked at a campfire or anything like that, you'll know that the, the, these are considered warm colors. They're also very primary, yellows and reds. The third color we're gonna get into is this, I would say a deeper red. The first one, the second color was a red orange. This one is a little, a little bit more fuchsia. And all I'm doing is simply just repeating it and going outside of the original colors. I'm trying not to go over them, but there is a delicate balance of being able to retain the heart shape, but at the same time, have some fun with some abstract colors that you see. Okay, so I am using the red shape like this, going over here, going out to this way a little bit. So the more shorter and the more ragged the, the stripes are the, of the lava, it's as if it's peeking through the earth. And the last step, of course, we're just gonna use black and that's gonna really uh, make it purely stand out. And I'm doing this all with one brush because you don't need a variety of brushes. And this is just a fun way to put some paint onto paper. Now, later on, if you do this a hundred times, I bet you, you do it a hundred different ways. But you can use different colors as well. I am sticking to more of a red, orange, and black theme because those are the colors that to me look the most like fire and help me express what I want to do and that is a picture of lava. All right. Now they don't have to overlap but the idea is that you're going on the outside of one to the other. There we go. Now with art a lot of people feel like they're not artists and they get truly exposed and they feel like oh no one wants to put their feelings onto canvas but art is a activity that is always growing you can always do better the next time so my advice is don't be so hard on yourself the first try learn the lesson Learn it well, get really good at it, and then open yourself to any critiques. We are our own worst critique, and for that, I wanna take that off the board right off the bat, and let you experience the joy of just repetitive painting, and also getting it to speak in a way that your heart understands because art is a lot of times felt it's hard to explain it but when you do art from the heart it really comes from a beautiful place and it doesn't matter what it looks like it's the journey not the destination but this is the best way i can show you how we do uh, represent fire and that is going from yellows to orange to red to now black 
you see how it's not perfect well we're not perfect and your paintings should be fun should be very exploring it's the same brush and as you do it you'll find that you'll you'll get joy in just how the brush slides onto the paper very smooth okay now the very end all I'm doing is just kind of outlining them you can even just put some random markings has a very tribal feel almost if you look at uh, a lot of Polynesian tribal designs you know they're very steeped in, in uh, very rhythmic very very form oriented type of work here we go and last but not least we just boom so now are you ever really done with a piece well a famous artist once said artists aren't ever done with a painting they just sometimes stop at a good place so if you feel like going and filling all of this into black be my guest I'm not going to do that because I'm going to get to another art project and I just wanted to lead you down this path so you can get the feeling of fire and the feeling of warmth but the beauty of this is it's somewhat abstract and at the same time you can still see the icon of the heart so that's our first that's our first project now we put that aside and always sign your your works because as you go through it you'll realize that there's my signature there wall frito and i always date it too what year is it 2020 so we'll put we'll just put a 20 on there i i express that with my children now they're young adults and when we look back at their pieces it's like wow check that out okay it has that feeling of fire now you can take this and fill this all in at your leisure time but this is the first project i wanted to share with you the second project i want you to take another piece of paper and, and this time you can use your, your marker and do one nice big heart. Right there. And a lot of times with, with uh, art, it's not necessarily the end, it's the design that leads to the end. So we have a very simple drawing of a heart here, right? As you can see, it's not perfect and each heart is always different and unique just like us as people but uh what i like to show is the hearts this project is called uh hearts that are connected or connected hearts you ever make a friend and you ever you ever in kind of uh connect with somebody well when your hearts connect you share a, a, a same feeling the same beat the same interest so what i like to do is overlap different hearts like so I'll do maybe little ones here maybe another one twisted like so but now the design becomes a lot more interesting when you have different sizes different shapes of hearts that come in and that the beauty of this is that the lines do cross how about a wide heart how about a tall and skinny heart? How about a teeny weeny heart? It's just touching. So now by drawing all these different types of hearts, you've created a mosaic and also your own coloring page. So now you can take any of these colors and let's see. How about this time we'll use a green. Remember to wash your colors out, uh, wash your colors out so that if you want them pure, then now the beauty is you can come in and, and piecemeal your hearts into different colors. 
Maybe I'll take this green and put it over here. Maybe I'll take that green and put it over there. I mean, the more, the more hearts you have crossing over, the more interesting shapes you have. Look at that, right? They don't have to be perfect as long as they're heart shaped. Okay, how about we do this piece here, so forth and so on. I like this because you already have a hard edge line and if you're not into abstract movements, then heck, you can have some fun just filling in. Okay, and now how about take a different color? This time we have yellow. Okay, we'll put a yellow over here. Or maybe this little piece could be yellow. You get the picture? Well, this is a fun way to not only draw and create different designs, but it's also a fun way to do a little painting. And since the last ones were all warm, how about we do a cool color? How about blue, huh? Who likes blue? I do. Wow, look at that blue, very strong. So note to self, blue is the strongest color so far. And I can put it anywhere I want. Now, if you're not that good at staying within the lines, don't worry about it. Sometimes it's the rough edges that gives it character. Okay, uh, how about a little blue here? What color should we use? Maybe one more color. How about this magenta? Now, if you don't wash your brushes out, sometimes you end up with your own colors, right? Well, here we go. Here's a little magenta. And let's put one here. And let's put one here. And let's put one over here. Where do you stop? Nobody knows. You could spend the whole afternoon doing this. I have many a days. As a professional artist, I get to paint almost every day. And you won't believe how fast the day goes. And this is like playing for the mind. So I always encourage people to do some exercises of the mind. There's our project number two. All right, it's called Hearts Connected. And once again, we'll sign our names and we'll put a date. Okay, the last one is a little bit different you know if you have the help of an adult you can draw little hearts on a sponge and then you could take a, a little scissor like so and just kind of cut your heart out cut your heart out take it easy right okay so once again doesn't have to be perfect now this is a bigger one you can what I've done is I've made smaller ones. You see here, I've had a little practice. I got a small, medium, and a large. So if you're not good at painting uh, hearts uh, or holding a brush, since these paints are non-toxic, they're kind of fun to just get the sponges wet. Okay, and let's try the blue. The blue really works well. We'll dip it, whoops. <laughs> TV folks okay that's what it looks like so if you do it this if you do this on a table flat you know have some newspapers under there so you don't worry about getting anything wet there we go oh one heart two heart three heart four heart hey these hearts almost look like little butterflies right so Maybe that could be a project. Look at that. And then what if I take uh, a purple? Now this is my medium sponge right here. And let's kind of cake this whole thing in. And if you need an adult to help you with this, adults, this is a project we can all do together. So, Adults are just big kids, so adults love to play as well. 
I know I do. All right, so there's a, a purple one. There's a purple one. There's a purple one. There's another purple one right there. Um, you can see how you could have some fun making uh, heart stamps all over. Uh, now the here's one that if you decide that you want to like make a multicolor one, I'm dipping my big one, my big heart in a sponge or the sponge in water. And what I'll do is maybe I'll paint different parts of it. I'll start with a red and then maybe go over to the purple. Basically, just, just have fun and use your paints up because paints are happy when they're on paper. They're not happy if they're not used. And let's see, a little black perhaps. You get the picture and then once you paint it, you can stamp that on and make the, the bigger stamps. Now, this is, this is kind of a fun thing too. If you want to go back with your, with your uh, marker, you can outline them. There you go. Outline the hearts. And you know, I just thought of something too. If you add a little bit of a, a little head and a little antenna and kind of go down the center, they remind me of butterflies. So guess what? We made our own little heart butterflies. I'll just show you that up front there. Little heart butterflies. So your imagination and your creativity, they're the ones that's going to teach you how to do all these different projects, but they're all based on heart. And the heart is a symbol of love and it's a symbol of passion. And I love art and I love the results and the people that I meet and the places that it takes me, especially my mind. My mind is open to uh, creation and it, it's open to colors and there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just have to have fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration. My name is Walfredo. Continue to have some fun and use your heart, speak your heart, love, share. And I really appreciate Variety for inviting me to host this little art party for you so that you can have some fun and enjoy yourselves and let your mind go free. Look at that. Now, if you don't have any drawing abilities, don't worry. I've made one that's already good to go and I'll send it over on an email and uh, you can feel free to color in this or whatever hearts that you created. Well, my name is Walfredo. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration. I look forward to seeing all the different hearts that you guys can come up with and I'll see you next time at the easel. Aloha, everybody.